Okay, I got a box. This is a box of my negatives. This goes back into the 90s and probably into the 2000s a little bit and, and a little bit of college. But I mean, it's just random negatives all over the place and I wanna go through them to see what they are, maybe scan some into the computer and organize them into the flat file which I'm actually standing on right now. It's this big thing with a bowling alley top, got a bunch of big drawers, we'll put some B-roll in there so that you can see it. But now my goal is to go through these and see what they are and try to come up, oh look, JP, that's me. That's how, that, that's how they put my name on it, look, JP. This was a mid-city camera back in the day. One each, five by seven glossy. What was I getting five by seven glossies of? This is impossible to take a look at. What I need is a light box, and light boxes don't exist anymore, so I'm gonna have to get creative. Give me a second. Okay, got the stuff. Get out of here, box of negatives. Don't go far, actually. So. I'm gonna improvise and make myself a light box. For those of you who are too young to remember a light box, it's one of those things that back in the day, it would shine a light up and you would then have a loop similar to this, and you would look at the negatives and slides and decide which ones you liked. Because that's what light boxes were for. But they don't really do them anymore, so I'm gonna improvisally make one out of this Aperture LED panel. It has a milky smooth cover, I don't like Milky Smooth because it's gonna hurt my eyes, so now I got the white, and I'm gonna put the white paper right here, boom, like this. And that is how you improvisely make a light box. The other problem is I gotta plug it in, and now it's no longer flat. But I have a solution, hold on. Bricks! I got bricks! Are they the same height? Let's, let's see if these are the same height. Put one right there, put one right there. Boom, ah shit, hold on. Let me get this right. There, now I got a light, yes, light box. Now I need to plug it in and see if it works. I'm having trouble with the cable. Oh my God, it's on. And I don't want it to be yellow. Oh, it's bicolor. Oh, there we go. How's it look, much brighter? This is a perfect, I, if I had two pieces of paper, it would probably be better. Let me take off my glasses. Let's see what these negatives are. I don't know if these were the ones that I was talking about. No, these were the ones, I don't even know what those were. So this is how it works. You put it, you gotta find the front of the negative, like, oh my God, this works. And then you go like this. I think I need a better loop. I need, a, I need a better loop. This is designed for the back of a camera. Do we have a loop? Anybody, do we have a loop? Because this is basically one to one, I can't zoom in on it. I stay up, but I mean, I can still see it. So these are, this is Little League Baseball. This is Little League Baseball that I was shooting on film. Now I can't recognize the people because well, they're negatives. Look, they're backwards, see? And stuff like that. So I gotta go through this package. I mean, all of these things, try to figure out what they are, label them, maybe scan some and put them on the screen for you. Or maybe I'll just use an app on the phone to show you what it looks like. I don't know, but I'm gonna get to that right now. Does anybody have a loop? Envelopes. So I've got envelopes, and my goal is to put negatives that are similar in envelopes. I doubt I'll figure out what dates anything are because, well, actually, the only way I'd be able to tell dates is if they actually, see where it says date? Yeah, yeah, they never put in the date there, so I don't know anything about it. So I gotta pull them out, I'm gonna create some piles, I'm gonna move my glasses because I'm gonna put them somewhere that I don't ruin it. Okay, my glasses are going over here. They're going on the art stools and, uh, so now it's time to go through these negatives. Let's see what happens. Well, good news. This says scan. Oh, look, I've scanned and I've even select, oh, they're the flyers. Maybe this would work better. See that? 
these are negatives the the flyers and i used to number them as you can see i would number the ones that i would want printed you can probably see that a little bit right there on the sleeves and then i would put them in a book but in this case i guess i never did put them in the book so since these are scanned i can show you some of them up on the screen yay i was really good at shooting hockey but not at first at first i really sucked Oh, these were good. This is some some people in the stands. It looks like Mark Recchi skating right there. I will figure out. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Who the hell is this? Oh no, it's it's a community college. I don't know. Let's dive in deeper and see if we find anything that has writing on it. Eagles. Like the Philadelphia Eagles? I don't remember shooting the Eagles. Ugh. You know why I don't remember shooting the Philadelphia Eagles? Because this is the band, the Eagles. It was an assignment for Rolling Stone where they sent me out to shoot the Eagles. My phone was stolen in the press room. Then they checked the cameras and I got it back. And so I had to shoot from the soundboard and they ended up running one of these in the magazine. So it's not the Eagles, it's the, the Eagles, the, the singing group. Oh, this is the Advantage Championships. This is tennis. I better order a loop. I better, I better order a loop up right now, hold on. Guess what, guys? It's the next day. Yes, I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday. Don't mind it, don't, don't worry about it. The box is here. So let's open it up. I'm, op I'm opening the box bad, because there's no pull tab. There's no pull tab, but you know from the earlier part of the video that I wanted to order some loops. So I've got a Carson 10X loop and a Carson 11.5X. I didn't know which one would be better, so I decided to get both, which means this Hoodman loop, which is good on the back of a camera, doesn't work for what I'm using it for, so we'll get rid of that. So let's start with 11 and a half one and see what, oh my Jesus. Holy Jesus. It cost me more in shipping than it did for the cost, uh, than, than, holy, Chody looking loop. Will you give me the loop? Give me the loop. Give me the loop. Look at that loop. Holy jeez. That's a nice size loop. Let's get another loop. I'm gonna keep. Oh my god, this is like a dainty loop between both of these. I didn't know it was so dainty and one was so big. We're gonna have to see how it looks. Let's uh let's turn on my my light table here. Light table on. Let's use the big boy. Holy Jesus, that is a massive amount of zoom. It like, this one I can see the entire negative mostly, and this one gives me 11 point and a half, which is actually really cool. You wanna get really close to stuff, this 11 and a half, oh, that's built really well. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue to go through these negatives, and if I find something cool, maybe at the end, we'll pop up like a montage of some of these scanned things and I'll put the, oh my God, hopefully they don't suck. Hopefully they really don't suck, but that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a couple hundred rolls of film here. We'll see how far I get on this. All right, let's, 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 let's do it. All right, so this is the time-lapse, guys. This is me going through negatives. I don't know what's gonna happen, but. Who is this? Ah, uh, I know what this is. Wow, wow, wow. Who the hell are these people? Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Slides. 
gum wrappers. More hockey. So I had to cut in here. I found, it looks to be a Polaroid. Uh, I just, look at this. Look at this guy right here. Is he not sexy or what? That's me in college wearing a tie with the coolest sideburns ever, ever. So it's seriously gonna take me quite a long time to go through this stuff. I've already found some gems like slides that I took that I forgot that I took, uh, negatives from things that I didn't even remember I had negatives from things for. So the whole point of making this video is that if you have a lot of negatives out there, you may need a loop. You can make an improvised light table just by using an LED panel or just literally holding paper up to the light, that could work. The big ass loop review, uh, it's actually too big. The 11.5X is really big and just the regular 10X strong loop shows you the whole negative really well. But if you have big stuff to look at, well, this loop works out pretty good. So I've got my envelopes. I'm gonna have to label some things. I'm gonna get some images scanned up so that you can look at them right now, but oh my God, so many out of focus pictures on those negatives. Um, not the greatest pictures in the world, but maybe I'll do some voiceover commentary. I don't know if I will or if I won't, but let me just show you some of the negatives uh, just randomly selected that have been scanned from this pile to see what they look like. So I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe I'll do more. Mm, okay, let's look at some of those photos now.